Well, good afternoon. This is Pastor Hayton and another Lower Lights devotional time. Thank you for sitting down with me here for a few minutes today. Just about to leave my study to go home and to kind of relax a little bit. Been another busy day and I've been here in my study for a while doing my Monday morning musing and and uh, you know just whatever a pastor does in his study a lot of a lot of reflection I tell you I sit here and I just look back over a good many things I don't know whether that's good or whether that's bad sometimes it encourages me sometimes it discourages me to reflect upon the past I know Paul said forgetting those things which are behind and it's a good practice to not dwell in the past because there's nothing we can do. But I like to reminisce and I like to think about different things. I'm rather nostalgic. And so, you know, a lot of times here in my study, I'm afraid that my mind is just going from one thing to another. But nonetheless, as we come before you today, I just want to tell you that our nation is in trouble. I'm sure you already know that. There's just so many things that indicate that uh, we are in a troubled nation. Now, I awaken each morning, and the first thing I do is to talk to God. I like to talk to God about myself. I like to talk to God about the needs of my family. I like to talk to God about the needs of my church and my church family. I like to talk to God about uh, our, our nation and uh, the world in general. And it's a good practice to spend time talking with God. But after a little conversation with God, I like to turn on the news and see what happened while I was asleep. And of course, the first thing that I saw this morning was the terrible incident out in Las Vegas, Nevada. And what a terrible, terrible tragedy that is. I think about the lives that have been affected I know over 50 people have been uh, murdered. And uh, when I think about 50 people, I think of the number of people that must be grieving. Uh, you know, most people have extended family as well as immediate family. And I would like to think that if something should happen to me, that uh, my wife and children would grieve over me and that my nieces and nephews and aunts and uncles and cousins also would spend some time grieving over me. And I think that any time that someone uh, loses their life, uh, there's a time of grief by many people. Uh, I hope to th I like to think that most people are loved by uh, at least a few people. And so we think about uh, it's probably even hard to estimate the number of grieving people over the loss of a loved one today than those who have been injured. We don't know the extent of the injuries, but no doubt lives have been changed forever because of this. And, you know, I, I'm not going to dwell on it because if you're interested, you're listening to the news. But I would like to say that uh, we are encouraged to pray for Las Vegas. And when I begin to see the different uh, exhortations to pray. People have plastered it on social media. The newscasters are asking us to pray. And I thought, how do we pray for Las Vegas? Well, about the only thing we can do is to pray that God will uh, help those that are grieving and those that are injured, that somehow God will be able to make himself known in such a way that these people will know that in spite of the hatred that has uh, changed their lives, that there is a God in heaven that loves and cares for them. So let's pray for people today that they may come to the realization that in spite of the evil intent of one person, that uh, there is a God that loves, cares for them, and wants to prove himself to be the God of all comfort. That's how I'm praying today, that God will manifest himself as a real God that people can have an intimate relationship with and experience the comfort that only he can give. Now, Heavenly Father, we thank thee today that we have the privilege of prayer, and we do pray for those that have been so adversely affected by this terrible tragedy Lord, prove yourself to be a God of comfort. 
Prove yourself to be a God of love and concern, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, my voice is about to go, so I guess I'd better go. See you tomorrow on Lord Light's Devotional. Goodbye now.